it's pretty hazardous around where the fill hole and the fluid check hole is and it's not for your average individual without some heat gear on because it's next to the catalytic converter so be advised it's hot done the final flush on it and drove it 15 miles it's 95 degrees out and I just needed to get it up less I got to about 182 degrees on the transmission temperature so I put it in drive and I just the air conditioner's off just hold it about a thousand rpm in drive for about two minutes to three minutes not not too heavy or you'll burn the transmission or torque converter out but it's about to 190 Ah, here we go. I get it up past 190 and that opens the flow up to the cooler and radiator to push any air that might be in the system out. Now I need to let it cool down to about 180 degrees fluid temperature and then pull the stick out of the transmission and make sure it's to the maximum in the upper crosshatch area. This last fill I'll put just under seven quarts, about six and eight tenths of a quart in it. As long as it's within a half inch of the lower crosshatch area sitting level with a fluid temperature under 110 degrees and within a half inch of the crosshatch area you can drive it and do whatever you need to and then get it up to operating temperature break that 190 degree point to flush any air out of the cooler and then let it settle back down to 180 below 184 degrees anyway and above 178 probably turn the air conditioner on fans will cool the cooling system down to about 196 degrees where it's at about 223 now the fans just ran the air conditioner cooling fans is bringing it down See what it is. It's just cheap infrared, infrared heat sensor. Yep. I'm checking it off that little bulb on the bottom of the pan. Looks like it's matching up to the scan tool readings good. And at 184 is the maximum. Looks like it's good enough to check to see if the fluid's full. The only drawback to running the air conditioner is the water will be dripping out at you underneath where the condensate drain is. But now I've got the temperature where I need it, and I've pushed the air out of the cooler. I'm going to put it in each gear for five seconds. I'm 
put it through each gear for five seconds and then go underneath and pull the stick out of it. I'm putting a glove on so I don't get burned up. I also run the truck up on a two before just to give me a little bit of clearance without without interfering with the height so much. And of course the condensate's dripping down off the air conditioner. This is nice. I'm coming in with my left arm over the passenger wheel. Now let's give you an indication how hot this cat is. You don't want to touch that. I don't. I don't want to touch it. I'm breaking that loose. I'm going up with my right arm along the pan. The transmission lines are plenty hot. stick in there. It's full in the lower cross hatch area. It needs just a little bit in it. Check it again. Kind of got to put the stick between your two fingers. Stay away from the heat source. Make sure the stick drops down twice so it's just about a finger width of it sticking up. Got it filled up to the maximum of the rough crosshatch area. There it says A, and then there's a B grid up above it. I'm going to leave it right on the maximum of the lower crosshatch area. That's where seven full quarts put it at. Probably needs about another quarter of a quart to get it above that to fill in the rest of the lower crosshatch area and just get it above it, the line. Check off while you got this plug out. I don't know whether it'll come shooting up out of there or not, but it, it probably wouldn't be a good thing. Well, that's taking care of it. It's just entering the bottom of the second crosshatch area. It, it'll be well up into it if the temperature gets uh, 190 or so. That's really a, a bad area for the layman. Globe Gloves are absolutely required down there. The transmission's hot, the transmission lines are hot, the catalytic converter is five or six hundred degrees at times. And it'll cook you. Be sure and tighten the fill plug to around 24 foot pounds. And it should wrap it up, check for any leaks or problems.